so i log in as a uh, admin user here and uh, please note this is the url sap bc ui5 underscore uf5 slash sap slash arsrvc underscore upb admin slash main dot html so this is a fiori launchpad designer url and this is only should be controlled by you know either basis administrators or fiori administrators only <clears throat> okay so let's uh, let's refer to the link back again uh, which i just showed you once uh, i have i have just installed you know this add-on ui hr001 sorry uh, let me go back ui hr 00100 and as well as gbx 01 hr 600 so i'll just show just uh, show you in this system so ux 01 it's it's m100 sp6 which is the latest uh, support pack level and as well as for uh, gbx um, here it is gbx 01 hr 600 sorry this one okay so this is the latest support pack level as of today so once these two add-ons are uh, applied technically this should be uh, you know this add-on should be installed in your ecc system and uh, uh, ux hr um, should be applied in your uh, front-end systems as this is our embedded system which means both front-end and back-end are the same box so i have installed both add-ons in the same system okay so once uh, this has been applied so now let's go back to the fiori launchpad designer by hitting this url and you'll come back to the screen so as you notice uh, there's a catalogs there's a groups and uh, there are standard sap standard uh, cat uh, catalogs which has already been shown here and bunch of tiles okay so so after this uh, after the after uh, installing the add-ons you will see all these uh, tiles in place okay so if you notice there is a sub name called sap underscore hr bc underscore manager underscore t all right so let's go to fury apps library so if you refer to that name so this is business catalog launchpad name okay and this is your business catalog launchpad name and if you want to check the business group uh, launchpad name sap hr bc g the only difference is g here so and this is a role and with uh, r okay so let's go to fiery launchpad designer and click on the groups tab and if you notice sap hcm bcg manager underscore t which is this one and this is a technical role which should be assigned to your user so once this has been assigned to your user you will see this app in your fiori launchpad okay so let's create one user and then assign a standard pfcg role for this business catalog to come okay let's go to transition code sap standard pfcg role for business catalog for this application let's copy this and assign to our new user and existing user and please note uh, this user should have trusted rfc as well okay and sap hr bcr manager underscore t these all comes up with the manager applications so just uh, save it as i have already logged in with fury if you notice just refresh your screen you you will see manager as well so we have approval request approved timesheets and team services so these are all 
manager related applications you can see the same stuff in here okay so all these three tiles uh, are SAP standard SAP delivered and uh, we have shown those three tiles uh, with that rule so any user uh, if you want to see a manager user to have applied all these three tiles so that's a, a business uh, <coughs> role needs to be given which is this one so always refer to this catalog okay and to make sure we need to we need to check whether this service is active or not so go to slash and SICF service name and execute it so good thing is the service is already activated which is good and uh, refer back to the fury launch pad screen the reason why you're seeing error because there is no configuration uh, not there is no configuration done yet uh, in the backend system so which is uh, ECC box so if you see any um, error like this which means that the application is not configured properly there is something some some you know, some missing data like you know some configuration related issues so there is no uh, semantic object created so there could be so, so many reasons so we need to identify what is the exact reason for that so as it is a fresh box i know that this uh, there is no configuration done from hr perspective so uh, i can see uh, this is an error and uh, if any uh, dynamic tiles um, no, sorry there are two tiles which i was uh, which i should explain uh, prior to that the one which is showing the numbers are called as a dynamic tiles and the the other stuff which are not showing numbers are called as static tiles so these are the two different tiles where we can see uh, there any <coughs> leave request pending for example in an employee uh, in, a, in a company employee um, a manager is having almost like 10 uh, employees reporting to him and all almost like four or five guys have report uh, reported the leave request and uh, all these four requests which will be shown here as a four so it, it's all uh, you know whatever has been system has been configured in uh, in ECC, those data will be showed up here okay so just to uh, in our next session like you know uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you how to configure how to create uh, catalogs and uh, uh, groups and design that to a role okay so let's proceed that so as you see this is a fiori launch pad designer screen as a very first step we need to make sure that whenever we want to customize as a basis guy we need to make sure those things are captured okay so how do we capture those changes so if you notice there is a, a settings icon here just click on that and you'll see assign transport request so by default it's a none local object but in a in a dev quality and production environment if you want to move the changes uh, one time so all we need to make sure is whatever the custom changes or roles has been created or catalogs or groups has been created that will be going through the transport so please create a customizing request fiori launchpad takes all and uh, takes only customizing request and uh, once you can as you see right now if i uncheck here and i see i don't see any uh, transport request on my name okay so let's go ahead and create one customizing request click on create customizing request yes just say yes um, fury manager apps configuration save it so this bt2 k9 triple zero two seven is our transport request and if you come back to the browser click on cancel and just refresh the screen to make sure the transport request is showing up here click on the settings icon back again 
and uncheck this non local object and if you scroll down you'll see the transport request shown here so please make sure any changes in the fury launchpad designer should be captured in the transport request otherwise if you change uh, in local object sometimes it it will save you but those changes are not moved to you know quality or production so right now i have captured in transport request just to make sure uh, this is my tr has been selected which is good click on okay and uh, now coming back here so as a manager i can see uh, in the manager catalogs i can see these three tiles right so and uh, i don't want to give all these three tiles to a manager so one manager might be a substitute manager where he should have uh, he might have access only for approving leave request and approving timesheets not to manage their team services so in that case how do we define or how do we assign these new uh, tiles into a new group so let's let's go and uh, uh, create a new catalog and a new group and assign those newly created catalog and group uh, to a role and that will be as to the user so this is a process